So this is Fedora 40 with the KDE Plasma 6 desktop environment. But this is a welcome screen. This is a system settings. This is all there's activities. There's a KDE Connect where you can connect your phone and your computer. This is the K runner. This is an overview, your system command center. I'll click next. So this is a Discover app. And here you can download and install applications. These are some of them. So I'm going to go through the installation. So this is the welcome page. And here you have to choose your language. I'll click continue. This is the installation summary. So under localization, you have keyboard and time and date. I'll click on keyboard and you can change your keyboard layout here. There's time and date and you can change your time zone region here and also the city. I'll type New York. So it's set at automatic date and time and you can also configure NTP here. There's also manual date and time configuration. So on the system, there's installation destination and network and host name. So I have to select the hard drive. I only have one hard drive in this desktop computer. I selected it. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click on root account. And I'm going to enable the root account. I'll type a password. I'm going to check this, allow root SSH login with password, click done. I'll click on user creation. I'm going to create a user. I'm going to keep this selected, add administrative privileges to the user account and require a password to use this account. So I'll type a password. I'll click done and click done again. So now I'm going to click on begin installation. So installation is taking place. Okay, installation is complete. I'm going to reboot the computer. So, okay, so I'm logged in. So I'm going to click on application launcher. And this can be adjusted. So this is favorite. This is all applications. So LibreOffice is installed. This is education. This is games. This is graphic. This is internet. Multimedia. Office. This is settings. This is system. This will come in very handy. KDE partition manager. This is utilities. So on the panel, the Fedora application launcher is here. This is system settings. There's also discover software app. This is the dolphin file manager and Firefox. So I'll click on system settings. So this is input and output. This is connected devices. You can add printers. This is KDE Connect. So this is internet, Wi-Fi and networking configuration. So you can configure a proxy here. This is online accounts. This is colors and teams. So this is wallpaper. This is default applications. So you can configure default applications for internet, multimedia documents and utilities. This is a notification settings. This is Windows management. So I'm going to click on virtual desktops. So right now it only has one virtual desktop. I'm going to add four more. I'll click on the add button. I'll click apply. And it's here. 
So the five virtual desktops are in one row. I can change this to three rows or four rows. Click apply. And this is how it looks. I'm going to leave it at one row. So I'm going to click on desktop effects. I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see windows management. This is it. And this is the cube feature. I'm going to enable it. I'll click apply. So to enable the Q feature with the keyboard, I have a Windows keyboard. I just have to press the Windows key and the C key. So this is a Q feature and these are the five virtual desktops. So to get out of this screen, just hit the escape key on the keyboard. So this is one of the features in Fedora 40 KDE Plasma 6. So I have four apps open. I have Create, KMines, Ocula, and Color Paint. So I'm going to minimize all these apps. So these four apps are the only apps that are open, and they are minimized on the panel. On the keyboard, I have to hold down the Alt key and the Tab key. And I can see all the apps that are open and minimized on the desktop. So to switch from one app to the next, right now KWrite is open. I just have to keep holding down the Alt key. I just have to press the Tab key once and it opens Ocula. I'll press the Tab key again and the Color Paint app is opened. I'll press the Tab key again and KMines is open. So I have to keep holding down the Alt key and just keep pressing the tab key. And I can switch from one app to the next. So I'll release the all key and it shows the app that I selected. So I'll right click the desktop. I'm gonna click on configure desktop and wallpaper. Now I'm gonna select a wallpaper. I'll click apply. So on the lower right side, I have the update icon, the volume icon, the network icon. So this is the clock. So the upper arrow here, these are the hidden icons. When I click on that, it will show the status and notifications. So I'm going to right click the panel. I'm going to click on enter edit mode. And there's also a panel that shows up on top. This is the panel settings. And this is the height of the panel. The default is 44. I can increase the size of the panel or decrease it. I can change the visibility to always visible, auto hide, dodge windows, or windows go below. I'm going to leave it as always visible. Opacity, I'm going to leave it as translucent. So this is floating. I can turn that on or off. So I can set the position of the panel. I'll click on position here. So now I get these arrows here. So if I want the panel on the right side, I just have to click on this arrow. So if I want the panel to be on the left side, I just have to click on this arrow. I'm going to leave it at the default position. So I can also add widgets from here. And I can also search for widgets here. So to add a widget to the desktop, I just have to drag it. This is the Discover Software Center. And here you can search for apps and download, and they are listed by categories. So you can also search for apps here. So this is the Dolphin File Manager. So I can right click anyway in the space here. I can also right click on a desktop and I can create a new folder. And I'll right click the folder and I have all these menu options. I'll click on properties. 
and I can configure permissions for the folder. So this is about this system. The KDE Plasma version is 6.0.3. This is the kernel version. So I'm going to right click the desktop again, click on enter edit mode. So the top panel, I can add widgets, I can add panel, I can configure desktop on wallpaper, and choose a global team, configure display settings. So this is Fedora 40 beta version with the KDE Plasma 6 desktop environment. So I want to thank you for watching and I want to thank you for subscribing.